Good day students, welcome to our lesson this week in Pre-Calculus. Today we're going to discuss Sigma Notation of a Series. The Sigma Notation of a Series A series can be represented in a compact form called Summation or Sigma Notation. The Greek capital letter Sigma is used to represent the sum. For example, the series 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus 16 plus 20 plus 24 can be expressed as the sum of 4n from n equals 1 to 6. The expression is read as the sum of 4n as n goes from 1 to 6. The variable n is called the index of summation. Again, the expression can be read as the sum of 4n as n goes from 1 to 6. Six is the last value of n. 4n is the formula for the terms. n is the index of summation and 1 is the first value of n. To generate the terms of a series given in sigma notation, successively replace the index of summation with consecutive integers from the first value to the last value of the index. For example, to generate the terms of the given series in sigma notation, replace n by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we have here the sum of 4n as n goes from 1 to 6. So as you can see, we change n to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And since we're talking about summation, we're going to get the sum of all of this. So that's 4 times 1 plus 4 times 2 plus 4 times 3 plus 4 times 4 plus 4 times 5 plus 4 times 6. So that's equal to 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus 16 plus 20 plus 24 and the total is 84. So this is the sum of the terms. The sum of the series is 84. Let's have more examples. Write out the terms of the following, then compute the sum. First, the sum of 2 raised to n as n goes from 1 to 9. So that's 2 raised to 1 plus 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 3 plus 2 raised to 4 plus 2 raised to 5 plus 2 raised to 6 plus 2 raised to 7 plus 2 raised to 8 and plus 2 raised to 9. So that's equal to 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128 plus 256 plus 512. And the total is 1022. So the sum of this series is 1022. Second example, the sum of 2k plus 3 as k goes from 1 to 3. So as you can see, we change k by 1, 2, and 3. So we have here 2 times 1 plus 5, plus 2 times 2 plus 5, plus 2 times 3 plus 5. So that's equal to 2 plus 5, plus 4 plus 5, plus 6 plus 5, which is 7 plus 9 plus 11, and the total is 27. So the sum of the series is 27. Then for number 3, the sum of 3j plus 2 all over j plus 1 as j goes from 1 to 3. So here, we change j into integers 1, 2, and 3 because the first value of j is 1 and the last value is 3. So just continue the necessary arithmetic. 
So you're going to arrive at this 5 over 2 plus 8 over 3 plus 11 over 4 which is 95 over 12. So the series of that is the sum of the series is 95 over 12. Now let's have another example or another set of examples. In this case, we're going to use the sigma notation to express each series. So we're going to use the sigma notation to make a compact form of this series. First, let's have 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 plus 30 plus 35. So as you can see, these numbers are multiples of 5. Okay, so 5 times 1 plus 5 times 2 plus 5 times 3 plus 5 times 4 plus 5 times 5 plus 5 times 6 plus 5 times 7. So, as you can see, there are integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, the formula is 5n. So, we can express this as the sum of 5n as n goes from 1 to 7. So, that's our answer. Now, what if the series is like this? 15 plus 20 plus 25 plus 30 plus 35, plus 40, plus 45. Yes, they are multiples of 5, but it is not starting from 5. Instead, it is starting from 15. So this is 5 times 3, plus 5 times 4, plus 5 times 5, plus 5 times 6, plus 5 times 7, plus 5 times 8, plus 5 times 9. So the integers are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 for the possible value of the variable let's say n so we can express this as the sum of 5n as n goes from 3 to 9 because the integer starts from 3 or the value of n starts from 3 up to 9 okay I hope you get it Let's proceed to the next example. Number 7. So the series is 3 plus 9 plus 27 plus 81 plus 246 plus 729 plus 2187 plus 6561. So this series is actually the... Uh, The base is 3, then the exponent of 3 is changing. As you can see, the exponent of 3 is from 1 to 8. So we have here 3 raised to 1, plus 3 raised to 2, plus 3 raised to 3, plus 3 raised to 4, plus 3 raised to 5, plus 3 raised to 6, plus 3 to the 7, and plus 3 to the 8. So we can express this series as the sum of 3 to the n, as n goes from 1 to 8. So what if the series is like this? So still the base is 3 but it doesn't start from 1, it starts from 4 up to 10. So we have here 3 to the 4 plus 3 to the 5th plus 3 to the 6th plus 3 to the 7th plus 3 to the 8th plus 3 to the 9th plus 3 to the 10. So just like the previous example uh, we can still express the formula as 3n but the first value of n is 4 and the last value is 10 so the compact form or the sigma notation of this series is the sum of 3n as n goes from 4 to 10 number 8 8 plus 11 plus 14 plus 17 plus 20 plus 23 plus 26. So they are not multiples. But observe the series. So as you can see, it is increasing by 3. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. 17 plus 3 is 20. 20 plus 3 is 23, and 23 plus 3 is 26. So this is an arithmetic series with 7 terms, 
or let us check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 correct which first term is 8 and common difference is 3 so remember arithmetic series so the first term is a sub 1 so in this case a sub 1 is 8 then the common difference is 3 or d is equal to 3 so let us make use of the formula for arithmetic series to get the a sub n okay so remember the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times t so let us uh, substitute a sub 1 and 3 so we have here a sub n equals 8 plus n minus 1 times 3 so a sub n is equal to 8 plus 3 n minus 3 so to simplify it more it will become a sub n equals 3 n minus 3 and that's our formula a sub n equals 3 n minus 3 so we can express this as the sum of a sub n as n goes from 1 to 7 so since a sub n we have obtained an a value earlier which is 3n minus 3 let us change this into the sum of 3n minus 3 as n goes from 1 to 7 and this is the sigma notation form of that series okay number 8 or number 9 use the sigma notation to express each series so as you can see uh, there are fractions in the in the term so 2 thirds minus 1 plus 3 over 2 minus 9 over 4 plus 27 over 8 minus 81 over 16 so it is not an arithmetic sequence but let's try so let us divide the second term by the first term so negative 1 divided by 2 thirds equals negative 3 over 2 okay let's uh, try it in other terms 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 3 over 2 also negative 9 over 4 divided by 3 over 2 is equal to negative 3 over 2 27 over 8 divided by negative 9 over 4 is also negative 3 over 2 and negative 81 divided by or negative 81 over 16 divided by 27 over 8 is also negative 3 over 2 so we can say that this is a geometric series with a common ratio of negative 3 over 2 so remember the formula for common for geometric sequence to get the n term so a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1 so here we let us substitute the first term and the common ratio is so this will be a sub n equals 2 thirds times negative 3 over 2 raised to n minus 1 so let us just change a sub n to what we have obtained which is 2 thirds times negative 3 over 2 raised to n minus 1 so the sigma notation of this series is the sum of 2 over 3 times negative 3 over 2 raised to n minus 1 as n goes from 1 to 6 So for the practice exercises, write out the terms of the following, then compute the sum. So for number 1, the sum of 2n plus 1 raised to n as n goes from 1 to 5. Number 2, the sum of 2k minus 1 as k goes from 1 to 6. Number 3, the sum of j of 3j squared minus 2 all over 2j plus 1 as j goes from 1 to 4. Number 5, the sum of n times 2n minus 2 raised to n as n goes from 1 to 5. For number 6, the sum of 3k squared minus 2k as k goes from 1 to 7. And number 7, the sum of 4j plus 1 all over 3j squared minus 1 as j goes from 1 to 4. Then use the sigma notation to express each series. So at number 7, we have 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 
plus 15, plus 17, plus 19, plus 21, plus 23, plus 25. So that's an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 2. For number 8, 88 plus 78 plus 68 plus 58 plus 48 plus 38 plus 28 plus 18. So the terms are decreasing. Okay, this is an example also of an arithmetic series, but the common difference is negative. In that case, negative 10. For number 9, we have here 2 plus 8 plus 32 plus 128 plus 512 plus 2048 plus 8192 plus 32768. So as you can see, that's a geometric sequence with a common ratio of 4. For number 10, 2 plus 6 plus 18 plus 54 plus 486 plus 1458 plus 4374 plus 13122. So I won't give a clue. So uh, think about it, okay? Then we also have challenger problems here. So number one, write out the terms, then compute the sum of the sum of 5 to the n as n goes from 1 to 5 plus the sum of 2 times 5 to the n as n goes from 1 to 5 also. And then for number two, there's a question. Is the sum of 2k minus 1 raised to 2 as k goes from 0 to 5 equal to the sum the square of the sum of 2k minus 1 as k goes from 0 to 5 and then show your solution show your proof then for number 3 compute the sum of the sum of negative 1 raised to x times 2 to the x over x plus 1 as x goes from 1 to 6. And use the sigma notation to express the following series, okay? So I won't say if it is an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence, so it's up to you to figure out. It's called challenger problems in the first place. So to learn more about this topic, you can PC, you can visit these websites. I'm going to share this to our group chat. Just remind me about it. Okay. So class, always remember, do mathematics to learn mathematics. Practice, improve, and stay curious. Keep safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. See you next time for our next lesson.